apparently they're off, but Eskley Brook wasn't too keen and has jumped away, but is a long way behind the others, 15 to 20 lengths behind. Hand in hands restrained well back to the field as Indian Scout leads them over the first, at which they are all over safely, although Eskley Brook has only just jumped it and is 15 lengths detached. So I, I and Indian Scout are amongst those that uh, show the early way with Royal Oaks there as they reach fence number two. Iris Royal is handy. Mistake by hand in hand at the second. Well back in the field at the time, and he is racing a little fiercely. Richard Johnson anxious, along with Timmy Murphy on risk successor, to uh, drop them out in the early strides as I.I. leads them towards the last of this line of three. Uh, Eskley Brook is just taking it now and has taken it safely, but didn't look that keen on jumping it, in fact, so they're really well strung out. Uh, the fast pace, as anticipated, means that there's a good 40 lengths first to second last, another 40 lengths back to Eskley Brook. So it's I.I. who leads them by about three to four lengths from Indian Scout. Royal Eau Claire settled in third place with Iris Royal in four. It's take time, the green sleeves on the inside of Adamant Approach, Blue Jacket with the white face. Up the inside goes Folly Plaisant with Armour Turk, ridden a little more patiently than can be the case. Telemos is in midfield, tracking young Spartacus at this stage with bank account, and also in that little group is Cadoon as they reach the first of the fences in the straight, at which Cadoon wasn't too clever. And also Richard Johnson was back in the saddle again on Hand in Hand, whose early jumping has been a little chancy, as I.I. really stands off the next fence, takes it clear, and so far the jumping has been more than adequate for the majority of them. They're all still standing. The only one struggling is Eskley Brook, who's tailed off. So it's I.I., such a gallant third in the Paddy Power, who's extended the advantage to six to seven lengths from in second place Indian Scout. The favourite hand in hand, seven to two, right back through the field in the maroon and blue. Telemos a five to one chance towards the stand side in the orange cap. And Iris Royal, the most prominent of the market leaders, racing in the white sleeve jacket towards the stand side. This will be the last in the circuit's time. I.I. takes it six to seven lengths clear. Again, the field are all over safely. Eskleybrook continuing tailed off. So I.I. has won the battle for the lead and exuberantly races on towards fence number seven with a 10-length advantage in the Triple Brent Gold Cup. Indian Scout is second from Royal Eau Claire third, and it takes time prominent on the rails in four with Iris Royal. Then Telemos is getting a little closer on the outside in sixth or seventh place with Adamant Approach and Armour Turk. Young Spartacus from Folly Plaisant, hand in hand still well back through the field at this stage with Redemption. The J.P. McManus pair are side by side, risk accessor on the outside of Cadoon, and they're two from the back with Balling Clay King, who's beginning to struggle and still tailed off his Eskley Brook. So they turn down the side and I.I. leads them towards the next fence. Gets in very close indeed and makes a hash of it and forfeits his four-length advantage. Is gobbled up by the chasing pack headed by Indian Scout with Iris Royal. It takes time, has gone up the fence from Royal Eau Claire and Telemos. Then comes Armaturk with Polly Clairs on as they stream over the water jump. Hand in hands beginning to make ground through the field. Ridden along towards the back, the white shipskin nose band of Cadoon is beginning to struggle as Indian Scout leads them with I.I. and Iris Royal towards the next, which is a ditch Indian Scout. That's all wrong, a horrible fall brings Armour Turk to a fault and brings down hand in hand. Hand in hand is brought down by Indian Scouts capsizing at the ditch. Armour Turk was seriously hampered. So once again, jumping all important at Cheltenham. I.I. leads them over the next plane fence from Iris Royal. It takes time, has got there travelling very strongly from Royal Eau Claire. Telemos is poised just behind the leaders. The beige colours with the orange cap. Up the inside is Armour Turk. Then Redemption, Adamant Approach, creeping closer, Risk Accessor, kept wide of the course. Is going to rise in seventh or eighth place. Good jump as well by Risk Accessor. Adamant Approach is just beginning to lose ground. Then comes Bank Account, who's under pressure and being driven along with Cadoon. Young Spartacus is towards the rear of the field. Both jockeys are OK, although Indian Scouts rider James Davis a little lame. No, no harm either to hand in hand. So the leaders begin the descent down towards the third last, and it, it takes time with Telemos, the money horse, looming large alongside. Tony Dobbin pulls down his goggles, gets a good sight of the lead. Iris Royal completes this line of three. Towards the left, Risk Accessor is creeping closer under a typically patient Timmy Murphy ride, and Redemption, who's jumping, stood the test for this point, rises in fifth from Royal Eau Claire, who makes a mistake, and is passed by Armour Turk, getting down towards the business end and the second last in the Triple Print Gold Cup. It takes time now under pressure. Telemos in the centre and the stand side Iris Royal. Risk Accessor, where his paddy power charts is ended, takes it safely, although pecks on landing, but it's a fence too far for Redemption, who's a fall or two from home. Adamant Approach is hampered. They turn back towards home and Iris Royal strikes as all of a sudden Telemos is in trouble, but Risk Access has been ridden patiently to this point by Timmy Murphy, has given the leader a four-length start on the run to the last, and now for the first time looks urgent because Iris Royal's not stopping. Iris Royal three lengths clear. 
risk excess and now asked for everything by Timmy Murphy, trying hard to close the gap, but Irish Royal may have poached the length too far. Mr. Cesar rounds up the hill, gets to within a length. Timmy Murphy throwing everything at Mr. Cesar and gets alongside Irish Royal, who digs deep and joins and will just prevail. Irish Royal sees off Mr. Cesar to win the triple bridge. Back in third was Teddy Moss, Rilo Claire was four. It takes time, five from Armour Turk, Balling Clay Kings finish. Likewise, Kadoon, then young Spartacus. I.I.'s got past a, a weary adamant approach on the run-in. What a finish. Risk Accessa on the far side came to challenge Iris Royal. Produced just about perfectly. I wondered if Timmy had just given the horse too much to do, but when he drew alongside, Iris Royal really dug in deep. And this progressive horse, who got the better of Loire Miguel last time at Ascot, has matched back-to-back -back successes in the triple print for both Nicky Henderson and Mick Fitzgerald, following Fonwalt's success 12 months ago. A terrific finish, and Iris Royal sees off risk accessor in heartbreaking fashion for the Irish camp. Here it is. Here's the First result. First number 10. First number 10. What about that? Absolute legend of a horse. <laughs> He really is, he's such a star. You can see the size of him. And like in the second last, he did what Farmer did last year here at the last. Unbelievable. It's a great feeling. <laughs> You've won the two, the autumn double, absolutely. Fun. But listen, that was incredible. The way Timmy Murphy, I thought Timmy was going to get you just close home. But like this fellow's been in front a while and it's hard work there. Yeah. And it, like as soon as the other horse came to him, he picked up. Thank God. <laughs> and he stuck it out, didn't he? he? Just that last 25 yards. Yeah, he's really tried for me, you know. Like, I've thought... I thought we were, 